Hey guys, welcome back to Montevue. Today we're going to be doing a short video just showing you guys how to operate the sequence and the custom split options as they are found on your Montevue NVR interface. Okay, so jumping into this, we're going to go into the sequence options first on the Montevue NVR. To get into this, we're going to go to the live screen where we can see all of our cameras. And for this demonstration, I have five cameras. They are all in positions one through five, with six, seven, and eight being empty channels. So here I've got a nine view with my ninth camera is just sort of giving me some information about my cameras in the bottom right corner. And the first thing I'm going to do to sequence it is I'm going to right click and choose sequence. Now in a nutshell, sequence is essentially changing the order in which your cameras appear on your live screen. This is only going to affect the live screen on the NVR interface. It will not actually change the position of the cameras on Montevue Go for desktop or mobile. Also, keep in mind that the channel is going to keep its number designation regardless of where you put it on the screen. So, for instance, my camera that's plugged into port 3 will always show up as channel D3, no matter where it's placed on the screen. This is just to keep everything in order and organized so that no matter where you put your cameras, you're always going to remember where they belong and which port they are in. And it's going to give me a list of my cameras in their proper order in this list on the right side. It's pretty easy. You just want to drag and drop the cameras to the location that you want to bring them in. So for example, if I drag and drop one of my channels, one through five, into an empty channel, six through seven, you'll notice that they basically just change places. The same thing applies for if you were to drag and drop over an existing camera. Basically, if I switch 3 and 4, 3 and 4 will switch places on screen, 5 and 8 will switch places 5 and 8. So something to keep in mind is that when you do view 4 or view 8, it will actually bring up the cameras in the order they are sequenced rather than the order of their channel designation. So in this case, if I move these cameras to these positions and choose 1 through 4, it will show me my first four cameras that I've chosen. And in this example, I just want to see all my indoor cameras all bunched together. So I'm going to move my one camera to the fifth position. And then I'm going to move all of my indoor cameras to the first four positions. Then when I click view one through four, it just shows me my indoor cameras. So you can apply this in any manner you guys want. Just keep in mind this is how it operates within the system. So moving on, once we're happy with how the cameras look on screen, make sure you guys hit apply in the sequence little box here on the right. That way it's going to save your guys' order. And keep in mind, if you guys forget to hit apply and you right click, it will still prompt you with the option here. All right, so after we're done sequencing our cameras, we're gonna go into custom split. So to start custom split, what we're gonna do is we're going to go to the main menu of the NVR, and then we're gonna go to the display option. For many of you, this is going to be on the second page. To access the second page, you're gonna see these little white bubbles down below, just above storage. And then we're gonna left click on the second bubble to reveal the second page. And once you can see that display option, go ahead and left click. And then we're going to see on the left side, we're gonna have a whole category called custom split. Custom split is basically expanding a certain camera square over to occupy another portion of space on the screen. This may stretch out your camera view. It could make it a little odd, but some people prefer this just so that they can see just the right amount of cameras. So to do this, uh, for example, with my eight channel, eight window setup, I'm going to drag and drop a couple of these camera windows to expand them over the existing squares. So as you'll notice, as I do this more and more, it'll cut out more of those lines and then make two squares into one. You can kind of do this in many ways, so there's not exactly one right way to do this. Just whatever works for your guys' visual preference is what's going to work for you. All right, so as you can see, I'm going to show you guys lots of different types of ways to split up the screen just so you guys get kind of an idea of how this works and how custom it really is. Okay, so now once I have gone through custom split and stretched and moved my, my views how I want them to be, now once I'm ready to apply that custom split view, I'm gonna go back to the NVR live view. I'm going to right click, and now you'll notice that this option of custom split should show up. And it's gonna show you, if you guys have multiple versions of custom split, it will show you all the options that you created. In this case, I've just got the split eight, so I'm gonna choose that. And then you'll see it goes into how I split it on the display menu. Again, this might take a little bit of uh, 
guess and checking. Uh, you're probably not going to get it exactly how you want it the first time. Just go back into display, play around with it some more. Also combine sequence with that just so you get the cameras in the right order. Eventually you guys will get this just the way you want it. And then of course make sure you save that option. And that custom split option will always be available for you guys until you delete it. Alright guys, that's all I've got for you for custom split and sequence. If you guys have any questions on this or any questions about anything else on the NVR interface, of course give our tech support a call. Guys are always happy to answer any questions you guys have, and we are here Monday through Friday to answer anything for you. As always, thank you guys so much for checking out these videos. I really appreciate all the views and likes, and uh, stay tuned for more videos dropping by in the next week or two. Thanks guys, have a good day.